Hello students, today we will be going over 1.2 linear versus exponential graphs. Our objective is I can graph exponential equations and identify key features. So we have some vocabulary here. First is the x-intercept is the coordinate where the function crosses the x-axis. So over here, here's the x-axis. So if we have a line like that, then we say, right, well, that's a pre pretty bad example. Let's try that again. So if it's like this right here, wherever that point is, that is your x-intercept is where the line crosses the x-axis. Now the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis or the vertical axis. So that would be here. So there's the y-axis, x-axis. x-intercept, y-intercept would be that point where those two lines cross. Next is an exponential equation, is an equation in which variables occur as exponents. And they're in the form a, b, x plus c. So if you ever see x as an exponent, you know it will be an exponential equation, which means it will either, it will curve up like that or it will curve down like that. So those are um, exponential equations as opposed to the linear equation, which would be just a straight line. The word line is in the word linear, okay? Next, we're going to go over an asymptote is a line that the exponential curve continually approaches but does not meet. In secondary one, the asymptote is the horizontal line at the vertical shift, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So when we start getting into more, we'll go over that. For example, on this graph, this line right here will approach right here. So we can draw a dotted line right there. So we know that this line will approach this line, but it will never cross this line. Okay. Next, we will talk about growth. Growth is um, generally referred to as on exponential um, functions. It goes up and to the right. That's an exponential growth. Okay. Decay is when the curve goes down and to the right. And there is all of our vocabulary, okay? Um, here is an example of an exponential function where you put in these numbers for x. Here's the work. You put it in there. Make sure you follow the order of operations. And then you get this out for y. So you could see right here on the, inner, the graph. I don't know how well you can see that. Maybe I can get you closer here um, to look at that a little bit better. But, and now it's got shading, so um, I'm just trying to think of the best way, but the shading comes from the computer, so there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I can try and shift it around, but just know that it is a growth. See how it goes up and to the right? And it approaches this line, but it will never touch this. And this is at what, it's negative 4. So that's where the asymptote is y is negative 4. That's that line right there. The y-intercept means it crosses the y-axis right here. That's at 0, negative 2. And um, the x-axis or the x-intercept, we can't tell exactly where that's at. But if we put in 0 for x, oh, that's the y-intercept. Do they put 0 in for y? We don't quite see where that's going to be. It's going to be somewhere between 0 and 1 right there. That would be the x-intercept, but they didn't put that on here. Okay, so that's page 6. Okay. Page 7 has been done for you, so... Um, and again, I don't know why it, things seem so dark here, but... Anyway, on this page, if it's a line, you know it's a linear equation. You can put in a number for x, negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, minus 4 is negative 14. So you can plot points on the graph and then connect the points. Um, x-intercept, where it crosses the x-axis right there, is at 2, 0. Y-intercept, it crosses at 0, negative 4. Okay? Then we're going to jump down to a growth one. See how it's going up? y equals 2 to the x, and it has these values, and then you get those numbers out, and that's how you get that graph. Okay. 
And then down here, it says to identify um, the type of equation without graphing, circle how you know. So y equals 4x plus 7, that's linear. Why? Because this is a normal x and it's not an exponent. Right here, this is exponential because it has the variable x as an exponent. This one, we know it's also an exponential one because you see that x as an exponent. Okay, now we're going to get into the juicier stuff here. Okay, I'm making sure you can still read it and still see some things that I'm doing here. Okay, I think that's, uh, maybe I need to back it up just a little bit more here for you. Um, okay. Okay, I, uh, this is on page 8. Identify the component, draw a dotted line at asymptote. y equals 3 to the x power. So to find out the y-intercept, that's easier. We put a 0 in for y and see what comes out for x. Or if they have a graph drawn for us on page 8, we can simply go and look at the graph. Where does it cross on the y axis right here at 0, 1? And if 3 to the 0 power is 1, then we should be good right there. So that is our y-intercept. Next, for our x-intercept, where does it cross this line right here? And it actually never crosses there. So if there's no intercept, we put in A for does not apply. Now we also look at this left side here and we say, is it linear? Is that a straight line? No, it is not. So I just put a line through that. Okay. Please do your homework in pencil in case you're wrong and have to erase something. Is it exponential? Yes. If you see some kind of curve going up, it's exponential. Is it growth or decay? If it's going up and to the right, so as X increases, Y is also increasing. Then it's going to be a growth. And then as far as your asymptote, is there going to be a dotted line? Well, this will never, ever cross the x-axis. So the asymptote, and you need to draw a dotted line right here to show that that will never cross um, right here. So that's all you have to do on that. Okay, next one. We're going to do number five. So that is a exponential function. And that's pay, uh, number four. Next, we will go on to number five on page eight. Y equals negative X minus two. The X intercept. We're going to, again, start with the Y intercept. That's easiest. Where does it cross the Y axis? And it's zero, negative two. So if I put zero in for X, negative zero is just zero. Minus two, we should get negative two. Then the x-intercept, where does it cross the x-axis? Right here. And that point is at negative 2, 0. So anytime you find the x-intercept and y-intercept, there should be a 0 for y on the x-intercept, a 0 for x on the y-intercept. Okay? So we know that it's not an exponential equation, so I'm going to just put a slash through that. Now linear, is it uh, positive or negative? It goes down and to the right, so it's going to have a negative slope, and it will be a negative um, linear equation there. And also, you could get that from the slope being negative right there. If it's negative, then you should put negative there. Okay? All right, students, you can finish the rest of this. Good luck. You rock.